Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be learning how to build a scroll-based mask animation with a GSAP and scroll trigger. Now here we have a text which says circus. And then when I slowly scroll down, you see the text um, scales up in size. And then through the text, we could see this cool video that's playing behind this. And then when we scroll a bit more, you'd see that now the entire video takes the screen. So this is really cool and really amazing so you could add this effect in your website in your simple project this really makes it stand out so we're going to be learning this in i'd say less than six minutes or so so without any delay let's get started and let's learn how to build this so here i am in my vs code wherein i have the mask on scroll folder open and i have this uh, index.html file and style.css now as you can see in the index.html file we have just the broader template and then in the css as well uh, we just have some of the basic styling that we need so we have so basically initially i've removed the margin and padding and set the box sizing to border box and the font family we're using is abril fat face and in the body as you can see we have the width 200 viewport width and then height a min height actually of 100 viewport height and then we've removed the overflow so we don't want anything to be shown or any scroll bar on the x-axis now we're going to start off in the body so we're going to first add a container which would have the video now the video we want it to keep playing so we'd add auto play and loop so loop is basically the one that's going to keep it playing and then auto play is the one when the page loads so we want the video to start as soon as it loads and then we don't want any noise so or the sound basically so we'd add it as muted then after that, we'd add the source of the image and then we'd add the mask. Uh, inside of this, we have an H2 with the text of circus. Now we're done with our HTML. Let's head to the CSS. Now I'll just show you what it looks now. So yeah, this is what it looks now. And we need some styling as well. So we're going to start off with the container. We're going to give it a min height, 100 view board height. And then we'd add the mask. Now the mask would have a height of 100 view board height with 200% a background white. And then we're gonna center everything using display flex with justify corner center and align items to center. And then we'll add the mix blend mode to screen just so that this masks the video. Now, if I save, you won't see it masking because here we have the video. So video needs to be uh, behind this masking text or the div. So for that, now we're gonna target the, first let's give some font size to the h2 so we have this here and then we're going to target the video we're going to place it fixed so we're going to have the position fixed z index to negative one inset to zero basically start from the top zero left zero and then take right zero and also bottom zero so if we have it here we don't really need height and width but then still i'll just add that to height 100 percent with 100 percent and then would add object fit to cover let's save and yeah this looks good now as you can see you have the text but then you would see that we have the video still playing behind the text so what we could do is now let's add the script and now we want to add the scroll effect so here would add gsap and then the scroll trigger now obviously the source code is in the description so you guys would when you download it you would obviously get the um, links or the cdns or if you want to grab it and don't use the source code you can just go to cdnjs and search for the gsap and then the scroll trigger cdn now, once you have these two CDNs ready, I'm going to start the script tag. And here, I'm going to start with the GSAP. So basically, I want to target the H2. And what I want to do is basically, we want the text to basically scale up. So we have it scaled to 300. Let's save. Now, if you see that it automatically scales, right? You'd see, let's refresh the page. And now you'd see that this is super fast. So the text scales super fast so we don't want that we want the scaling to happen as we scroll down so for that we have the scroll trigger library added and then what we could do is we can add here scroll trigger now this would trigger only when we are in the container so we have this triggers container then we have the scrub and pin so basically what it does is the pin basically keeps the element intact so that we basically are scrolling in the element itself and then the scrub basically aligns our animation with the scrolling 
So we have these two and then you have the start position and then also the ending position. So we want the animation to start when we are at the top most. So here top top and then we want it to end when this is 100 or 1000 pixels bottom from the top top so basically from the starting position relative to this we want 100 pixel down and that's where the animation should end now you have this and then we could just remove any ease effect so initially this app adds i think power one effect so we just we don't really want any kind of ease effect so we'd remove that let's save and yeah we have the text here now if i were to slowly scroll down you see that we have this cool text reveal which reveals this background video let's scroll up and you'd see the animation once again and there you have it so the source code is in the description so make sure to download that play with it and add this effect in your projects and in your website so yeah that's it for this video meet you guys in the next video till then bye bye take care